issues, including the crisis at the southern border. He did not rule out reviving migrant family separations. Well, when you have that policy, people don't come. If the family hears that they're going to be separated, they love their family. They don't come. On the current fight in Washington over the nation's growing debt, Mr. Trump drew a hard line. I say to the Republicans out there, congressmen, senators, if they don't give you massive cuts, you're going to have to do a default. The former president would not commit to a nationwide abortion ban. President Trump is going to make a determination what he thinks is great for the country and what's fair for the country. Mr. Trump also claimed he could end the war in Ukraine in 24 hours and was asked directly if Vladimir Putin is a war criminal. I think it's something that not, should not be discussed now. It should be discussed later. If you say he's a war criminal, it's going to be a lot tougher to make a deal to get this thing stopped. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, a potential candidate himself, accused the former president of being Putin's puppet. <laughs> the former president said he's inclined to pardon many of the January 6th rioters. They were there with love in their heart. And he dismissed E. Jean Carroll's sexual abuse claims. It's your playing hanky panky and dressing room, okay? After the town hall, the Biden campaign reacted on Twitter. It's simple, folks. Do you want four more years of that? The campaign trail is due to heat.